And uh, a related case to this is what we say copyrightization and decopyrightization of steel. Steel is the most common tool material, metal material, and the copyrightization is to increase copyrights, which means to put carbon into the system. Or decopyrightization means remove carbon from the material, which material from the steel. And uh, how do you do that? Typically, to do copyrightization, you put the steel into an atmosphere contain methane or carbon monoxide. These gas contains carbon. And uh, at higher temperature, those carbon would have a tendency to diffuse into your steel pieces. And you drive carbon into the steel quite often in the surface to make the surface harder, more well resistant. Okay, and that's what is going to happen in terms of concentration versus location. Your surface concentration more or less fixed, and as time goes on from T1 to T2 to T3, the, the carbon extends deeper and deeper into the material. I'll look at uh, a fixed location. If I'm looking at a fixed location, as times increase, the local concentration would uh, increase from black to blue to red. Make sense? I'll look at the same concentration. It goes deeper and deeper and deeper into the material. This is called uh, copyrightization. The other one would, called, would be called decarburization, which would uh, be removing the carbon quite often either in vacuum or most likely in hydrogen because hydrogen can grab the carbon to become methane the other way if you provide high purity hydrogen and make the surface low carbon concentration and make it softer. And uh, let's say our initial carbon concentration is C0 throughout the material. And the moment that you put into hydrogen, the surface carbon goes to zero. And then as time goes on, at the same location, the carbon concentration from black to blue to red, the local concentration what? Decrease over time. Or if we look at a fixed concentration, the low cost carbon concentration range become deeper and deeper and deeper into the material. For this, the solution is actually similar to what we have uh, done before. Again, the so-called initial or boundary condition would be x goes to infinity for carburization, x goes to infinity stays at uh, c0, initially at the surface stays at cs. For decarburization, it will be similar for this guy. When it is very deep, the concentration stays at uh, C0. At the surface, because we are removing carbon, we assume at the surface the concentration is drops to zero. So these two are the respective boundary conditions. Okay? And the solution, we have two, but related solution. One is for carburization, we have something like this. CS means surface concentration got fixed minus a term. That term is determined by the difference between the surface and what is C0, deep within the bulk. This amplitude times a error function term. Well, for decarburization, we would have something similar except our surface is zero. So we have something highly similar, okay? So these are the analytical solution for the so-called carburization, decarburization. We have a way to, for simple case, when we assume constant D, assuming certain boundary condition, we can describe analytically the local concentration with respect to location and time. Okay?